So we're checking out now the main solo uh, to Layla off the Unplugged version by Eric Clapton. Very, very nice little solo it is with a couple of real classic Clapton licks in it. So um, without further ado, let's get to close-ups and check out how to play this thing. Okay, the first lick in the song is this. Fifth fret, sixth fret, first string, second string, with a little curl on the sixth fret, so a little kind of a bend. Not a full bend, just a little tweaky kind of thing. Bending that little one a little bit, just curling it around. And four, one, and two, and three. Okay, then after that we've got this seven, five, flick off, seven, six, five, slide down a three, five, three, five. And then a little curly note there on the third fret, which is kind of a ghost note because it's not very loud on the record. First line then of the tab. Pretty straightforward. Nice little lick, all based around a little D minor chord there. Okay, second lick. Right up the neck, we're going now to 13th and 14th fret here. Um, I'm using my second and third fingers. I think on the record, Clapton's using his first and second, looks like on the video clip, but. Um, doesn't really matter whether you're using those or those, I'd use the middle ones. So um, 13, 14, what we're doing is we're sliding up to from just a fret before. Just little groups of three. Slide two, three, slide two, three, slide two, three. Uh, to make it really sound like the record, the beats two and three are accented and the slide's a bit quieter, so you get. And it does that lick six times. Then we've got a very nice little classic blues lick. Here using your second finger sliding up to the 14th fret. 13, 15. Third finger now jumps kind of diagonally over and slides down to the 12th fret. 10th fret, 12th fret. Very nice little lick, and definitely one that you should try and get into your repertoire there. Classic. Good, very good one to get under your fingers. Okay, I digress. Then we're on to this next one, which is a bit of a long lick. It's the whole of the third line of my tab. Now what we've got there, the way to think of this is to think of your triplets. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one and two and three triplet, four triplet. So <laughs> the rhythm of it's what's hard. Now you've got a choice. You can either try and count it, learn to read rhythms, or just listen to it a lot. Uh, probably the second one is easiest, but I'll count along with it one more time for you if you want to do the understanding the rhythm part. We've got one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one and two and three triplet, four triplet. So it's a little bit weird that end part, but you, you'll if you just listen to it. You'll get it. It just takes a little bit of listening. Okay, now after that funny little rhythm we've got here. 10 to 9, first finger, and let's roll back a little bit and get down into that other position. 10, 9, 
and then we've got a little 7 to 9 hammer on to the 7th fret with a the vibrato. Then we've got another big triplet run with one of those little funny Clapton hammer on flick off things. We've got here 5, 7, 7, 5, 6, 5, 7. off the edge there. So this one, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It's just, uh, getting these little triplets a lot of people have issues with, just try and count through it and know that this note is going to go on the beat and that note's going to go on the beat and in there you've got to fit one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Just take practice doing it slowly like that too. Making sure you know where the beat is, that's really important for all of those fast ones. Okay, then we're into the nice little bluesy part where he's now playing the melody. Curl here at 13th fret, 10th fret, up to 13, 10, 12, then a little hammer on from 10 to 12, 10, 13, little gap, then 10, 13, 10. Then we got 10, 10 using a little roll, 13 with a curl. And there's a little stop there. I'll put it in brackets because it's just a very short one. Now we're up to the 15th fret. Three times and then to the 13th. Then we're at the last little kind of main big riff we've got is this. complicated now you definitely want to be looking at the tab for this but basically we got 14 15 which is the last part of a triplet um, again if you want to count them out you're counting one triplet two triplet is the way to think of it so just going from the last beat of the second last line of my tab you've got that 14 15 there so it'd be three four triplet one triplet two triplet three Four triplet, one triplet, two, and three triplet, four triplet. It is quite complicated if you're going to think of it like that, or you can just listen to it a lot. Then we've got this other little weird bit, which is two tens. Just play it with my first finger. Now run out of room to put the last lick and I wasn't going to put a whole nother page. The last lick is more or less like the last lick of the first line which is starting here at the fifth fret. Just doesn't have the three at the end and that's it. So it's pretty straightforward. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that look at the Eric Clapton solo for the Layla, the unplugged one. I probably will do the electric one as well at some point real soon because lots of people requested that. Um, thanks to all you guys that requested it. It was a lot of fun for me to learn this one because I'd, actually I hadn't uh, learned this song before. Um, the acoustic one and all the solos and stuff. Very good tune it is too. Uh, go and check out the website. You'll find a little tablet sheet and good stuff there for you. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon. Bye bye.